Hi there. My name is Brian, and this is a quick video on how, as an EdSite Schools teacher, you can use the EdSite Question Bank to build an assessment from items. I'm going to focus today on how to build an assessment from items using a standard, um, but there's also videos in the finding content section about how to browse standards versus how to search the library. And the search video is a really helpful one if you want to search for a particular term. So I want to make sure you, you can check that out um, if you don't get what you need from this video. So I'm going to assume I'm trying to build an assessment for a specific standard. I'm going to pick a sixth grade math standard and build a assessment using items for that standard. Since we're using items to build this, we want to look for questions. That's what we call them in EdSite. So you can either click the questions button at the top or hover over it and go down to question bank. Both will bring you to our question bank. Now this has two views. I said I'll be focused more on the browse standards, but you can search or you can browse standards. So I'm going to be over here today. If you want to learn more about search, it's in a finding content video in the ES training center. So if I'm browsing standards, I can come down here and I can select a state. If I have multiple states options, I can then select a subject. I'm going to choose math and I'm going to choose sixth grade, grade six. Now, if I click on the grade, it shows me all the content for that grade. Um, I'm going to do 6.RP.8.1. So I can see I have 177 items for that standard. Now, I can search through all the content here, and I can preview questions using show full question. These questions could come from EdSite. They could come from OER sources like Achieve the Core um, or other teachers on EdSite. If you want to refine your search a little bit more, you can use this state released items checkbox. And this works on the search side as well. It's not just the browse standards. What that'll do is filter to only only items that align to your state standards that come from a state department of education. So it has to be built from a trusted source and the EdSite team actually digitize these. So they're really high quality items. I would highly recommend if you're building a common formative assessment or a common assessment using these that you use the state released items. Good. So I can see there's still 28 questions for this standard, which is great. I can preview them using that show full question tool. Let's say I want to build a three question assessment previewing these. I'm going to keep going down. I'm going to take these first three. So I have three questions or items selected here. If I wanted to save these for later, maybe build a multi-standard assignment, I could click save question. But what we're trying to do here is build an assignment targeted at this standard. Um, if you want to select a bunch of questions, you can also increase the number per page so that you can easily select them. all. Let's say I'm good with my three questions here. I'm going to go back up and I'm going to click build assignment. Now I can name this 6.RP.A.1 quiz. Click save and I can make this an active assignment. Now it's ready to send to students. Um, if you want to learn about how to make this into a common assessment to share with colleagues, check out the common assessment section on creating common assessments and sharing with colleagues. Um, you'll do it with the share and the settings. Um, as of now, I'm ready to either turn it into a common assessment and share it, or I can click assign and schedule with my students. For more on assigning, you can check out the sending to students section of the ES Training Hub. Hope this is helpful. As always, if you have any questions, please use the feedback button or email us at support at edsite.com. Thank you very much.